So this was recorded on my old computer, so the mic and video quality will not be good. And it's because I don't have the FNAF textures on this new computer. So hopefully in the future Click Diffusion tutorials, it will be on this new computer. So I, I hope you enjoy the video. Hello guys, welcome to another FNAF Sister Location tutorial. I'm still shocked this is even happening. <laughs> so yeah, someone, someone requested to do Ballora. And, well, I'm going to show them. First of all, you need, like, I think three counters. Grab yourself three counters. I'm going to go ahead and name this one... Ballora... Movement... Color it purple. And then be sure to clone it two times. Call one of them Ballora right. He's going on your right side. Let's go ahead and color that one that one. Let's go ahead and color that one that color. And then call the next one. Well, can't even spell the same my life. Ballora left. Just in case if she goes on the left side. So now that you have three counters ready for Ballora, so insert a comment. movement okay so I got Ballora movement now let's go ahead and insert a new event so every I guess for now I'm gonna make it fast for like every five seconds go ahead and restrict it to one action every loop it's going to set the Ballora movement counter to random 10 just so that it does a random number below 10 get to start a frame and set your Ballora movement to 10 so now that you have that go ahead and insert a new event if it hits 0 go ahead and copy and paste double click and if it's at one be sure to left click and drag it to the number to copy it just in case because this doing this fixes a lot of bugs go ahead and add a new condition every 20th of a second add one to the right counter Go over to your counter right and go to this check mark right here. Minimum value to zero, maximum value to 100 for volume purposes. Do the same thing for this one. Zero, 100. Now, I'll do the same thing for every one, but to go ahead and move this to the left side and just set this counter to zero. those just just so that they can stay at zero and not bug out be sure to go to right click add a new condition if this is greater than one just so that whenever it lands zero one it doesn't keep like randomizing the number because that is what will bug it out if you don't have a starter frame just go ahead and get a starter frame Start a frame. It's gonna play and loop. Ballerina. The song. Uh, zero for like a repeat loop. I go ahead and uh, insert. And my bad. A always. Go ahead and stick that under there. Set sample volume of ballerina to about a 10 just so that it's like in the distance when this is greater than one it should be more of should be more of five there you go now it's more at the distance but for now it changes to where it's six just so that 
Just so that they don't take forever. Change this to every tenth of a second, because that's not the way we need it. Okay, so once that we got all of that... Insert a new event. If it's zero... Always, but always if it's at zero... Set the sample volume of Ballerina. Come down here. To the current value of the below a right counter object. Now go ahead and copy and paste and change this to one so that that would be the left side. Then you edit it for the one on the for the one on the below or left current value. And be sure to add to that set sample pan for zero of ballerina to 100, meaning it'll be on the right side of your ear. And do the same thing to the one set sample pan of ballerina, but to the left side of your ear, which is negative 100. If you read that. So now, whenever it hits one of them, it should be, like, increasing volume, meaning she's getting near the door. See what I mean? That's how scary that is. Oh, and just at the start of frame, set them to five. Just so that they can sound the exact same as this one right here. My bad, change these values to be like 60, because that's pretty loud. To, to 60 of maximum values. So now, you got the Ballora movement. Great job. But now, you need to uh, block her from jump scaring you, and then now... And then we need to implement the uh, jump scare itself whenever you fail. So, be sure that you already have the uh, doors implemented. In order to block her, insert a new event. If this was zero, meaning it's on the right side, then be sure to grab your right side door counter. Compare it to a value of one, meaning that, meaning that for me it's shut. Go ahead and put that down there. And if the below or right hits 60, so that is whenever he, so that is whenever it, if she finishes, then go ahead and set this back to six. Means I need to change the start to six, and then set just in case set all these back to five. Then you play the sound whenever she gets, you know, some like a, uh, whatever it is, a, uh, right here. Get that sound and just go ahead and in insert it right there. And then set, and then set sample volume of ballerina back to five. And then set, and then set sample pan of ballerina to zero just so that it's in the center. So this is essentially blocking her on the right side. So let's see, okay. And copy and paste. Set this to one for the left side. And then go ahead and change the object from below our right to below our left. Right side. Bam. Then, and then it just resets her back. Left side. So basically that's blocking her, but now if you fail... So be sure the right side of the door is at zero, and if it, and if on the right side hits 60, get rid of that. Stop her music, and play the little jump scare that she does, which is uh... <laughs> like that. 
just go ahead and uh, destroy these counters. And get her jump scare animation right here. Be sure to actually get her jump scare animation. Stopped is whenever she's done. Then walking is her actual jump scare. Go ahead and set that right in the middle right here. Alright, so that is her jump scare. It, invisible at start. And be sure that it does not follow the frame. So once you fail, this will reappear. Change the animation sequence to walking. Insert a new event. Has an animation finished. Walking. Go over to this chest. And just end the application for now. Or just jump to like a frame to where it's like game over or something. So let me just do that. Just like jump to like the frame where it's like game over for me. Set this to 1 for the left side. And then change it from the right Ballora to the left Ballora. Then it should do the same thing. And this, my friend, should be the complete tutorial of Ballora. Okay, what's I? Okay. Now for a jump scare if I ever fail. Yep. So if I were to implement Funtime Freddy and the cameras, you should, you should get a little something like this. So that is the tutorial on the Ballora movement. If you want to see, like, you know, like Bonnet and the other characters, or maybe some Ultimate Custom Knight stuff, tell me in the comments below, and I will see y'all next time.